Hey guys, hold on, buckle up, because I'm back with part two of my conversation with my friend and my sister, Tamar Braxton. She's sharing more of her thoughts on relationships, self-reflection, and being under construction. Here we go. Now, Tamar, this is happening in a lot of households, though, and it just has become the way of the world where couples just divide everything. And they 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 share everything. But I think if we be honest with the world, women don't like that. And so what's happening? What what changed? I, I think it's um the hustle. You think that it's the hustle is changing. Where did it go? You know, like what happened? Yeah. Because I didn't know this was a thing. Now I I'm new to being single. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know this was a real thing that You've been out here long enough now. You've no, been, I you've have been divorced. not. It's only been a year. Okay. All right. So Right. And I just got back on the, okay, maybe we can go out for some dinner scene. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not dating yet. Yeah. But like, it's- Oh, oh y'all know when you hear that. Yeah. It's the sharing for me. My half, your half. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess that kind of introduces like division so early. Like, how well, are we ever going to come together and hustle together? How is that? When the resp- half the responsibility is yours, just half. But then, okay, but let's say you have, you are an actress, you're a singer, you're a producer. I mean, you're out here creating things and you're not going to find a lot of people who can do that. But he's going to stay home and raise the babies. What baby? I mean, if you had one, let's just say if you had whose baby, our babies. Mm-hmm. That's just not who God has for me. <laughs> it's not really. I don't want that. I don't want that. I would rather he go out and you know show the example to our children of you know the lifelong ongoing hustle that is you know instilled in men. I didn't write the book. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I came later. <laughs> you know, and see, you know, both parents going out here going to go get it. So they know that this is a life lesson. Yo, when I get down on my luck, I still gotta hustle. I gotta figure it out for my family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that part. That part. Yeah. Yeah. Not sitting at home and, you know, letting it fold. No, we don't let things fold. We get up and we fight. We go get it. And women will do that, too. Now, we don't. Yes, we do. We, today's woman won't allow the family to go under. No. We just got this girl boss hustle mentality in us as women where, you know, they say have seven streams of income. Okay. I'm, I might even have eight. So if one goes down, you know, you have seven. Yeah. Wow. But I don't want to be no independent woman like that, though. No? No. 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 I want to work because it's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. It's fun to me. It's great. I don't want to have to do that. Wow. I'm processing everything you're saying because I'm wondering. I can't wait to see what the point of view women and men have to say about that opinion because I'm curious as to how women are thinking now. But there is a why to mine, though. (laughs) It's not because I want to be spoiled. Mm -hmm. Mine is because I want to maintain respect. And I'm the type of person, if I'm doing all this, I'm doing all these manly things, I'm going to start feeling like the man in the relationship and I don't want to disrespect my man. I always want to be in love with him. You think it affects the respect? Yes, it does. (laughs) <laughs> do you think it do you think you have girlfriends and things like that yeah do you think yeah you got a lot of boss girlfriends I do a lot of them I do I do and and I will say just seeing women all day long we talk about their respect factor and that could be one of those things it's that a could, common denominator yeah that could get in the way of respect the respect leaves first the sex leaves second Oh, so you're not having sex then? If you lose respect for that person, you laying oh. down with them? No, they no, ain't I'm asking, nothing. <laughs> I'm asking questions. This is about you right now. We are interviewing you. Oh, uh, well, I would think. But, I, I don't want to sleep with nobody I don't have respect for. Oh, okay. Uh, but you no. think resentment comes first? Okay, that's right along in that balloon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Start to resent your partner. For sure. And you're fighting about things that you really aren't, you're just fighting about things. Anything can, you know, the the sign was green. No, it wasn't. It was yellow. And you're fighting, and you're having a whole fight about something that doesn't even make sense. But do you think that's about the bills or you think it's about the responsibility now that you have? 
Hmm. That's a good question. Hmm. Wow. It's not just the bills, baby. I'm going to say it once again. Y'all <laughs> heard this from Tamar Braxton, who is in Singlesville. Hate it. And on her way to Marriedville Definitely. has got certain criteria you have to meet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Now, do you think the men out there who are listening right now are getting a little, you know, upset because they hear you, not me now, y'all, out this Tamar. Yeah, because she asked me a personal question. Right, saying that <laughs> when she starts to pay the bills, she starts to grow balls. Yeah. And she starts grow to hair, get, uh-huh. honey. Your voice is getting deep. Voice get deep. I got bass in my chest. Okay. You know, and then, doing what I want to do. And I'm then being the baby respectful. And then, but <laughs> he's yeah. saying, baby, you can't buy that. What? <laughs> You can't do what? He he just told you <laughs> you can't buy that. With whose money? <laughs> Yours. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. You know. Yeah. Yeah, no. So you're not listening to your man though, Tamar. I am still what, your husband. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so here is the thing. I don't want that kind of petty in my relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to go down the list of what I bought, why I bought. What card I put it on. I don't want that kind of... Pet. Marriage is hard enough. Ooh, girl. <laughs> to have that kind of strain and just... I call it ridiculousness. Now, if you save enough for something, you got a spending problem, I'm not talking to that girl. Okay. That's a different situation. Uh-huh. I'm talking about the responsible woman who makes her own money. You know, it's plentiful in the household. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's not a problem. I see a purse I like. I can get that purse... You don't have to ask anybody for it. I don't have to ask anybody for it. And I don't have to run down to you like, oh, I bought the shoes too. (laughs) (laughs) And the belt. And you don't have to hide it in the trunk of the car. No, yeah, no, no. But why do I have to hide those these things that I work on? Because you are impacting our savings account when you take all that money like that and buy the purse and the shoes. You should be putting that money in our savings. Well, what are we saving for? Our future. Now don't that sound crazy? Okay, so this is what I have to say. If that purse or the shoes or even the belt is making a difference in your savings account, then somebody need to be doing something else. Mm. Somebody got to refigure out some stuff. Yeah. Because that don't make no sense. Now, unless you don't came, came into an agreement, okay, I'm not going to buy anything extra this month. Uh-huh. You're not going to buy anything extra this month. Or for two months or for six months. That's a different because now you have come into an agreement with your spouse. Mm-hmm. That's different. Now, if you go against that, then you're wrong. Okay. So you really think it impacts the relationship yes, that a woman has with a man when they're having to split the bills? Do you? You're not at I'm just <laughs> <laughs> You're not on the point yes, of me asking yes, me questions. Yes, I'm I, asking you the question. I'm old school. I don't want to feel. I mean, I want to feel equal, but I don't want to be equal. That puts that puts us on the same level. But now stay with that though. Yeah, I don't you, want that. But you don't want to. You don't want to be equal, but you want to feel equal. Is that fair? Yeah. Is it fair for me to pay half these bills? Okay, so you want to feel. Equal when you're paying half of the bills. You, you normally, yeah, you do. Okay, but do you feel like you're more than equal when we, when we as women start paying the bills? But it always seems like the women always pay the higher bills, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Ain't that a blip? <laughs> <laughs> so for the man who's paying all the bills, though, there's a certain amount of like she can't boss up. And she got to kind of do it his way. And we have to, don't change this house around. Don't decorate. Don't buy no new furniture. You don't need that dress. You don't know. You don't want to be that girl either. Um, I, is that what happens when a man pays off? Because that wasn't my experience. Right. And and for, for the working woman out there whose husband is making more money and he's paying all the bills. I have heard some say they don't get to make a lot of decisions because really? yeah, because they are controlling. Is that what we're saying? I don't know if it's controlling or they feel like they're the boss. But is that why most women want to pay half of the bill so they don't feel that they're in a controlled environment? Now, that could be it. 
That could be it in that if you are paying some of the bills or half of the bills or most of the bills, you then have the power. Well, now you're being controlling. Uh oh. <laughs> to think about it's though. the truth yeah yeah because a lot of it is about power it's about the power mm-hmm. yeah i mean because i want to be a little dominated <laughs> <laughs> hey ladies are you experiencing symptoms relating to perimenopause menopause or postmenopause? well whew, I can truly share personal hot summer moments called hot flashes that wake me up at night or just come totally unexpected. Bonafide was created to give women an alternative to effectively relieve the symptoms that accompany the hormonal fluctuations within our bodies. Their mission is to provide women with naturally powerful remedies that safely treat the symptoms that occur throughout our lives from PMS to menopause and everything else along the way. What makes this a trusted brand? Bonafide has created non-prescription solutions that treat women's health issues. The ingredients in every Bonafide product are the results of their research, development, and clinical trials, making them scientifically validated. All formulas are completely free from hormones and without alarming side effects. And their products are recommended by over 8,100 doctors across the country, like myself. Give Bonafide a try today. No hormones, no prescriptions required, real relief without compromise. To get 20% off your first purchase when you subscribe to any product, go to hellobonafide.com and use the promo code Jackie. That's hello, B O N A F I D E.com. And code Jackie, that's J-A-C-K-I-E, for 20% off at checkout. Hi, I'm Kara Natterson. And I'm Vanessa Kroll Bennett. We're the co-hosts of the Puberty Podcast. Each week, we dive into the what and how of raising kids through puberty, that roller coaster of physical and emotional shifts for kids and parents alike. Combining reliable science and relatable parenting strategies, we will all learn about, laugh about, and yes, maybe even cry about adolescence, ours and theirs. So could you imagine, though, if you're, you're this Mr. Wrightsville, mm-hmm. you meet him and he's like, no, Tay. I pay all the bills. Praise God. Uh huh. And I don't care if you get a bag or this, but we're not changing all this furniture around. And then you can't have the bag, the shoes, and the belt. Huh? I, I'm. I, I know you heard me, but I'll repeat it. You. Yeah. Meaning I'm, like this, his stuff. Is that what we're saying? Are we saying? I'm trying to process. No, this. I'm out here busting my butt so you can have everything that you want, so I can get all these bills paid. And you just making more bills by getting the belt, the the shoes, and the purse, right? You can't do that. Is he struggling? I don't know, but I'm working hard. I'm not sleeping at night so I can make sure you have everything you want and you still add more to my plate. I think I think that um, a man knows what he's doing, you know, especially when he gets into a situation when he starts paying the bills and on top of that, you know, she's a shopper and you allow her to shop and do things like that. You can't change the picture in the middle of the movie now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You got to keep that. So maybe you have an understanding going you in. You have an understanding going in. Yeah. That I'm you, paying all the bills and, and you can't have all this stuff. And I know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I know that I am with someone with all the power and I'm okay with it. So let's dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then when I feel like I don't want to do this no more, I'm going to go get a job. And now marriage is really in trouble. Ooh. Because now I can have the shoes, It's the, bag. the counseling for me. You know, it's never really the bills. The bills aren't the issue. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The bills is just the bow on the outside of the present. There's something inside that box, baby. <laughs> yeah. So you're the man has to be really confident to, to marry or date a woman with that mentality in that if I'm paying all the bills... You get to do everything you want to do. I don't get, I mean, that that's going to take a lot of confidence in a man to have a woman who 
expects who has those expectations? I don't know about expectations. I'm just saying you know what you're marrying. You know what you're getting into. So I'm going to say to the young ladies out there dating, though, this is a good point, is to be open, honest, and transparent up front. Yeah. If you don't like it up front, I'm I'm here to tell you when you get married, things don't like just all of a sudden get wonderful. No, it doesn't. Right. <laughs> it gets you so know. real, real right. fast. Yes, because you're dating a representative yeah, in a lot sure. of cases and that that's the person that your phenylethylalanine in your brain is telling you, oh, I love him. And he ain't paying none of the bills or going to work and he's driving your car. And, you know, he got tired. But you know, that's called digmatized. No, that's a, is that what that's it is? a syndrome that, you know, some of us deal with. You know, I don't personally want anything that good. I got mm-hmm. things to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Um, that's a different situation. That's you being taken advantage of. With You're that, not even with trying. That. Uh-huh. Come on, let's just be honest. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen, it, this conversation is not for everybody, okay? Just like if food can be whole, we can be whole, <laughs> you know? And this is for the people that are healed and not coming for a, from a place that is broken and that needs to be fixed within themselves. This, is, this conversation is not for them. This conversation is for the people who wants to meet Another healed person who is open to going to counseling and talking about things and being open and honest about our feelings. But you're limiting your choices too, who? right? That's you. okay. I want a healed person. Okay. 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 Yeah. All no right. more fixer flats. Okay. And that's cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, but 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 in today's society, how do you meet men with that attitude, though, uh, Tamar? Do you think that the man who that may have been your Mister Right and Shining Armor, he's not the Right and Shining Armor if he's asked me to pay half. Okay, but not listen God to this for me. But if he's out there, no, he's not. That's not him. He's listening to you right now. God, no, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't who he got for me. It's not because God knows who he made. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. knows what I like. And the things that I've asked him for, he knows specifically. Okay. So it ain't that. I, he ain't half. He ain't half of nothing. He is whole. He ain't halfway healed. Yeah, I'm he really trying to saved. maintain a certain he, amount of control and not saying. laugh at this one and not look at her like she has is growing a horn out of her forehead. In yeah, that. because dating now sucks. Really? Praise God for the women who are married and found that one because it is terrible out here. Really? This is why we wear bonnets because it's why. Why are we putting forth any effort? Well, I get go it. back on it now. We want women to come out of the bonnet. But I'm just being honest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's really rough out here. So it's like the women, most of these single women, it's like, why am I going to put on a face and put on a bonnet for this bump? So if your dude didn't have a car. Oh, yeah, no. Don't even do that. Like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> like, we're not even, don't even ask me that. Like, that's. What, are you going to drive my car? Yes. Oh, yeah, no. You ain't going to pick me no, up. No, like, you're, you're not gonna, doing that. You're, you're mm-hmm. not going to pick me up. Mm-mm. And I'm 44. If you ain't got no car by now, <laughs> <laughs> stay with your mama. Because <laughs> it's a no I can't say at your place, baby. No, never. Never. Listen, baby, I had I had it, and something happened, and my luck got messed. She just put food in her mouth. I wish you guys could see her. But listen, I had all of that. Tell it to your mama. Don't tell me. I, what you want me to do? <laughs> I just want you to give me a chance. No. I, no. Not at all. This is not who God has for me. This is not what he has for me. And if a man that is in his 40s doesn't have those things, he's, something is wrong. He needs to be healed. He needs healed? To, he'll go to therapy. Some things are wrong and off. Mm-hmm. And some responsibility issues. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but you love him. <laughs> <laughs> How? How did I get to love him? <laughs> I won't. <laughs> he had it at one time. And Having it at one time is different. It's so different. And if I met you and you lost it all. First of all, that's never going to happen to me because <laughs> I'm a different type of woman. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't leave. I wouldn't. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that's not going to happen to me because I'm always going to encourage my man to always get out and go get it. But baby, I'm, 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 I'm downtime. You know, I'm older now. I want to enjoy. <laughs> like a pop up? No. <laughs> What's a pop up? Pop up is pop ups. Oh, pop pops. Pop ups. Like somebody, a more pop, mature somebody granddaddy uh-huh. that 
got a stomach sitting on his pop pop. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I had one pop-pop. patient say when they start shedding in the bed, <laughs> <laughs> she, she started calling them pop pops. You want no pop pop? Really? No. Tima, are all the women out here thinking like you? Yes. They just, they just won't say it. Probably. Yeah. Singleville is a terrible place. I don't know how I ended up here. <laughs> That's awful. We're not going to talk about it. I want to move, honey. You want to move back to married deal. I, yeah, absolutely I do. But I'm waiting on the right person. Okay. You know? Because married life is good if you allow it to be or it make really it good. It really is. And yeah. I am the marrying kind. I am not a girlfriend. Okay, I but am let's wife. qualify that. Let's qualify that. Yes. She is the marrying kind if you pay all the bills. Initially. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So we can get married and then you'll start helping with the bills. Absolutely. Okay. But he's not going to want me to. Oh, that's the man you're looking for. That's the man that God has for me. Okay. <laughs> so she's going to meet a man who's going to pay all the bills and he's going to want to pay like all the bills, mm-hmm. treat her like a queen, yeah. mm-hmm. allow her to take her money and buy shoes, belt, and the bag mm-hmm. and not have anything to say about I'm gonna it. I'm going to buy him something too. Okay. Yeah. And then he's going to the gym and he's exercising mm-hmm. and he's, he's right. eating right mm-hmm. and he cares about his body. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, and he has all his teeth. Okay, you can buy teeth nowadays. That's what I'm saying. He bought oh. himself some teeth. Okay, and you didn't buy them. She didn't buy them. Okay. You know, this is not one eight hundred builder man. <laughs> you know, you got to come to me already built up. You know, I've been working on myself. <laughs> You know, I'm serious. And once you <laughs> become a heal place, honey, you start to heal. It's like your your outlook becomes different. But a lot of people have come from broken situations, and they it. never learn to be that person. Yeah, I get it. Okay, and I'm a prime example of what it looks like when you trauma bond with another b- broken person. There mm. is no solid ground, yeah. and it all breaks eventually. Okay. And you end up like me, 44 and single. Now, y'all heard that trauma bond. That's yeah. a good... T- I'm going to use that. Yeah, you can have it. Well, yeah, we start attracting people who have the Are same deficiencies like that Absolutely. we have. And then you end up creating trauma veal. A mess. Yeah. Well, you are hilarious. <laughs> now, you're speaking truth, though. Now, I'm, I'm going to go on and be honest. I do believe that we should look a certain way as women. We should go out and present ourselves a certain way because we want to attract that kind of man. Yes. And then I do believe that men should take care of the home. I I agree, you know. Or if that's not what he wants, let's just say you find Mr. Right, right? Mm-hmm. And he kind of wants to feel like that he's not doing everything mm-hmm. because it's a lot of pressure. Let's just talk about that. Okay. But let's also talk about the agreement that you set with your spouse. Hmm. Yeah. Now, but what about the women who are already in a marriage, though? Think it about that. Uh huh. They're already in a marriage, and uh-huh. they've been endorsing the "we do half" for all these years. How would you help her? Because she may be thinking, like, "Oh my God, I'm listening to Tamar Braxton, and that's me. That's me. I've been doing this for." 10 years and I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, but what I'm not saying is this don't help out your man or right. your, your mate, uh-huh. your spouse, whatever. I'm not saying that. I feel like I am the type of woman, if that happened, I would have my man's back. If he was feeling that kind of pressure, uh-huh. you know what I mean? I would alleviate that for him. I'm not saying don't do that because I don't want you walking away from your home. Tamar told me to leave my husband. No, I no don't do that. that. <laughs> don't that. That is not what don't we are that. saying today. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but I am saying is be honest. Okay. You know, and this is something that you can't handle. Be honest and have that conversation with him and be like, yo, I don't want to pay no bills because I don't like the way it makes me feel. I don't feel like no man. Okay. I want to feel like the woman. I want to feel like your woman. So I now listen. I serve you as your woman by not paying these bills. Okay, but listen, guys, <clears throat> you may need to get into counseling yeah, and sure. learn how to articulate that feeling to your man yeah. and not just bust up your happy home. No, don't do that. By doing that. <laughs> But if you are having those emotions, there may be the right time and right place to have that conversation. Well, girl, you have been a wealth of knowledge for a lot of people in a lot of ways. You made us laugh. Um, (laughs) I'm sure. If I go back and pull these pieces of paper out. Then they just have the deal. I'm sorry. This is how I feel. You have already gone viral in a lot of ways. 
And I mean, you got Becky, Linda, Sue, Tamar, put some clothes on and show them Becky, what you- Becky, Linda, Sue, Tamar. Uh-huh. You put yourself in it. Put some clothes on and show them what you're working with. Yeah, because I'm cute under all these church clothes. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, and the good thing about it, though, is what I like about your growth is, you know, to include yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. You're not saying I'm exempt and I'm not that girl. I've been the girl walking around with the sweatsuit ministry. And bonnets and eyelashes. Okay. Yeah. But you've been delivered. I have been delivered from the sweatsuit ministry. So now give me Tamar Braxton right now. What kind of projects you going, got going on with the Braxton family value come back? No, well, if that comes back, God bless them. I won't, I won't be a part of that. Okay. Um, But um, I'm working on a lot of music. Oh, yes. And we love your music. Why, thank you. I always wanted to be a background singer with you. Yeah, no. No, I really no. did. I wanted to dance in your corner. I wanted no, to. stay in the coochie, sis. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I, I'm really an honorary Braxton sister. Yes, you are. And I have been for years, but they won't let me sing. Praise God for that. Okay. So you're yeah. making music. I'm making music. I'm doing a lot of television, a lot of behind the scenes television, which I'm really excited about. So you're about. producing? Producing, creating. What? Now, what a lot of people don't know, and I don't know if I can tell that, is you've always been doing a lot of producing. Yeah. Yeah, now. everybody knows that, I think, now. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think. Know, yeah. Okay, because yeah. yeah. you know the creativity. I remember you talking about a lot of that stuff a long, yeah. long time ago, and then when I started to see it manifest, I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. And then what she realized sometimes rejection was for her protection. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and you just have become that girl. Oh, why? Thank you. That you are that girl. girl. <laughs> now she will keep you laughing. She will say those things that you're thinking and you want to say, but don't know how to say. And she comes out and then she goes to sleep at night, you know? Yeah, because I released it. It doesn't keep her awake. Because if I said some of that stuff, though, I would be, I can't Why? sleep. I don't know. Some of Is it stuff... because you're worried about what other people are going to well, say? I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. See, neither do I. That's why I specify these are my feelings. <laughs> okay. So is that how you do it now? It, it, How I feel. I feel yeah. Yes. For me and my life. Tamar. Yeah. 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 I own it. And then if it resonates towards you and what you're going through, okay. If not, okay. You're not, I'm not talking to I'm you. I'm not talking to you. I'm not offending you. Okay. So now that's going to be my new approach to say, if it were me. Yeah. And I. I okay. Okay. So guys, when you start hearing me say, if it were me, mm -hmm. I, I would not I wear this or I would change this. Yeah. Okay. Minding my manners. <laughs> yeah. Minding. So we got a lot of terminology yeah. here. We got uh, trauma via. We got trauma bond. We got minding our manners. We got a whole lot of Tamar ish. Got the pop pops. The pop pops. We don't do those. Right. And, and just. And then we got the good parts where I eat better. I drink plenty of water. I am doing things that make me smile and make me happy. I use my life as a teaching tool. And like I've shared with Tamar, some things is don't do it. I messed it up. So you use my life as the example and don't do that. Yes. Yes. How, how's Logan? Amazing. Yes. All yes. my babies are. They're beautiful. They're smart. They're yes. important. They're I'm intelligent. I'm myself, though. Uh, yes, the you are. Version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is definitely you. <laughs> He's amazing. And his dad. And his dad. But... He doesn't really have a lot of vents. You know, he just has his looks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because some of the stuff I hear coming out of this, his mouth on Instagram is you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, good. So yeah. you send him my love. You let Miss E know we've called her out and the world hears it yeah. now that you really are a mini version of your mama. I am. And all of the sisters whom I love and and I always wanted to sing with them, but I don't guess I'm getting invited. I'm no. kind of holding on, waiting to see if she's going to invite me. I am not. To... That is the Lord working on your behalf. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, she's producing now and I'm yes. available. So if she's but looking... But you're, you're not available, please. I, I would If you call me... To be in one of your shows, I'm coming. I might just do that. Okay. So you heard it from the mouth of Tamar Braxton. And it has been another episode of Dr. Jackie's Point of View with my girl. I love you. All right. Be safe.